Hello everyone and welcome back to the KOTOR, the Knights of the Old Republic in the Star Wars universe. It has been a hot minute since I played this game. Holy moly, what was I even doing? I got a Wookiee, I got one of these ladies, which I already forgot what kind of friggin... I don't even remember what their race is called, but I got her. They're definitely on my team now for the rest of the game. I got Mission and what's his name? Kalbar or something? Zalbar. Zalbar. Alright, so at the end of last session... I believe we were infiltrating the base of one of the gangs, and we got some part to the speeder or something like that. I've, I can't exactly remember every little tidbit of it, but I do remember all that happening. I think I'm back at the base right now. I might be able to teleport back. How do I... Is this the map? Transit back? I want to go back to the other gang, right, to turn in the part to them, because that was the whole point of that plan. I think if I transit back... Yes. This should take me back to, like, right outside their base. Yes! Okay. So I had just come out of their Vol black Volcar base, and now I'm headed back to the other guy's base to turn in the part that I picked up. Also, this Twi'lek's corpse. Do you really have something on you, or are you just a dead body with nothing on it? Nope, just a dead body with nothing on it. But anyway, yeah, sorry. I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, which most people probably are, you're not even going to notice a break, but no, sorry if I seem like I don't remember what the hell I was doing or don't remember things. Because the last time I played this game was over two weeks ago. I started this game a little prematurely just because I had a time slot open. But once I got started, I was kind of like, oh crap, I have a lot of episodes of Final Fantasy 16 that still need to get posted. So I just started this game kind of on a whim and when I had a time slot ready to go. But I just, I, 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 this game wasn't going to get posted for so long. I've just decided that I'm going to start playing it again now. So here we are. We're back to it. We're in the Hidden Beck base, which is the other gang, and we need to talk to the guy and be like, yo, we got the part from the other base. Let's." I think it was like a race we're supposed to join to try to win and get our girl back, the, the Jedi chick that we're supposed to try and find. Yeah. If I'm, I'm trying to like unravel the story in my head to remember what we were doing. And yes, Dragon, you have gifted me a lot of games. And I've tried to mark all the ones that have gifted by people on that list as well. Hopefully I haven't missed any. I'm pretty sure I haven't. For ones I haven't played yet. But yeah. Uh, anyway, let's go talk to the dude. Zirja is like his guard, but... Gadon Thek. That's a G, right? Gadon? Yeah. Gadon Thek. What's up, player? You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I do, actually. I actually do. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow. And my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Okay, well, uh, not so fast, Jafar. He, I don't, you know, I could, I could, I could swing for a reward, but I feel like that's not the good way to go about it. Just like, yeah, here, have the part. If I try to ask for a reward, then I feel like I'm doing like the bad guy advanced stuff. We want light points. I'm trying to be good guy. Don't worry, I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gadden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I wouldn't let me race on it either. I don't even know how to do this shit, but watch me fail. Also, what's up, Omegas? How you doing? Welcome in. Sorry you're not sorry you're a little late. You don't fare very well today. You won't be as helpful. Oh, that's okay, Omegas. You don't have to be helpful. Like as long as you're watching and enjoying, that's all I care about. You don't have to be helpful. The chat is not there to necessarily tell me how to do or what to do or figure things out for me. I'm here to struggle. And let you guys enjoy. That's what I'm here for. But welcome in. Welcome back. Sorry you're not feeling well. Hopefully you feel better as you rest and watch me fail. But uh, I'm going to win that race, boys. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Zerch is right. I fucking suck. I've never even raced before, but, you know, now we're pod racing. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is insane. <laughs> There's a good chance it could explode during Of course. Race. It's dangerous. Of Only you can do it. Take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Oh, cool. Sounds like he got all your bases covered. Dope. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Uh, I guess I'm ready. I mean... We technically haven't done anything other than walk here, and I'm pretty sure there's an auto save for when I came in here, so 
Let's just go for it, man. I ain't scared. Let's race the motherfuckers down. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer. You don't get to practice. Sorry, just bye. Just try to relax, and in the morning, we'll take you to the swoop track. Thanks, bro. Okay. You spend a restless night in the back base. In the morning, one of the backs takes you to the swoop racing pits where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. Sounds good. Away we go, then. So you're the one that's going to ride the swoop bike. Don't worry, I've been working on the accelerator and stability won't be a problem, I hope. Ganon mentioned that you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics of handing the swoop bike for you? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what the hell even any of this is. It's pretty simple, really. First, try not to crash into anything. There's debris and obstacles scattered all over the course, so watch out. <laughs> all swoops are equipped with dynamic deflector systems, so hitting an obstacle won't cause you to crash, but it will shake you up a bit. Trek also has an accelerator panels built into the surface. If you fly over one, it'll give you a boost to speed, so you'll try to hit him when you see him. When the engine starts running hot, you'll get a warning and you'll have to switch gears. Other than that, try to hang on, you'll be fine. So there's gears? I don't know what any of the buttons are, though. That's This is gonna be a shit show. Basically, go drive. I don't know, we don't know any buttons, but drive. Don't run into things if you can help it, especially the wall. Obstacles will only slow you down. Hit the, hit the boost pads when you see them. And switch gears when you're overheating. That's pretty much what I gathered from all that. So, woohoo! Hold on, I better explain the rules. Each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, whoever posts the fastest time is the winner. Normally a rider can run as many heats as they want, but I don't know how long the prototype accelerator on your swoop will hold up. No more than four or five races, I'd guess. Oh, so you get to retry. You get, like, to go more than once. So make your runs count. Godon's put his trust in you. We need to win this race or Brezhik's Volkars will get a whole bunch of new recruits. If that happens, we're finished. Alright. How do we get the race started? I don't know. Let's just do it. Fuck it. I won't let you down, homie. Sounds like you're ready. Go talk to the race announcer over by the counter. He'll give you the time to beat and get you on the course. I'll be waiting here for after the run so I can make tweaks and repairs. Good luck and don't worry about the prototype overheating and splitting when you're on the track. That probably won't happen. Yeah, okay. So it's like a thing you get to keep trying and see if you can beat your fastest time. And then, I guess, like, at the end of the day, whoever has the fastest time wins. I guess that's what it sounds like to me. So, Woot. Also, those of you who are here, is the game volume a little too loud, or is it is the balance good with my voice? I know I'm, like, super loud, but the game seems like it's pretty loud as well. Let me know if I should turn it down, like, just a tad bit. Because I can tell it's a pretty, it's pretty, pretty loud. It's fine? Okay. Then I will leave it as is until somebody complains about it. Alright. Anyway, race announcer, what's up? You're here to race, right? Okay, let's see who your sponsor is. Ah, you're riding for the Hidden Becks, I see. Always like them. I hope they can, you can show those Volkers a thing or two, but I digress. You're registered now. Good luck in trying to get yourself killed. We've only lost one rider today, and we want to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. Alright. Uh, what's the time to beat? <clears throat> 38 seconds and 43 milliseconds, I guess. Not the best I've seen. All right, so we'll have to keep asking what the what the fastest time is. And thank you for confirming, also, Omega. The time, this, this sounds good. Thank you. I want to race. Let's try it. No, no time like the present. Let's get it going. Let's learn how to play. Let's learn how to ride. I don't know how to do anything, but here we go. Now we're pod racing. All right, left click the mouse to accelerate and to shift gears. Use the movement keys to avoid obstacles. All right, that's it. I guess that's it. Go! Okay. Here we go. Okay, that's the speed pad. I was like, which one's the speed pad? This one. Alright. This seems pretty straightforward. I don't know how hard the turns are going to get. But it's only a 38 second lap at, at worst, I guess. Based on what the, the dude was saying, it seems pretty basic. Oh, you know what? I didn't shift gears. I wasn't shifting gears. That was my fault. It's okay. I had to learn how to control first. 
I felt like that was going too slow. All right. So I was supposed to shift gears. I was forgetting to shift gears. That was my bad. Not too bad, but you didn't get the time you needed. But for a rookie, you did pretty well. That accelerator held up okay, too. It's running a little hot, but don't nothing to worry about. Not yet, anyways. Now that you got a run race in your belt, you're able to blow the field away. Good luck. We're counting on you. All right. So now that I got the gist of what to do, it seems pretty basic and straightforward. I just got to make sure I shift my gears sooner. I was waiting way too long to do that. Also, DJ, what's up? Enjoy your work lurk for the day. All right. So got. I'm, I don't know if the time's any worse than it was before. I'm just gonna assume I have to be 38 seconds. So here we go. Round two. Go, fool! Oh my god. Holy shit balls. That was awesome. That was awesome. I did it in 25 seconds. Let's go. I destroyed my... I like doubled. Did about hella good. You got the top time. You just beat racers. We've been doing this for 20 years. This is amazing. It only took you two tries. Someone who's never ridden a swoop before today comes in here and... Wait a minute. I don't believe this. Look at the board. One of the Volcars just beat your time. Who? It was Retros. I should have known. That's okay. The day ain't over yet, and the accelerator is still holding together. You have to just get out there and show them how it's done. I have to beat my own time. Holy shit. Did I fuck up by going too fast? It's okay. I could have done a little bit better than I did, to be fair. Let me see how much I got to beat. That's pod racing. 25-7. All right. 25-7. You got it, dude. I can beat that. Come on now. Come on now. Now that I understand, let's go. I just gotta shift faster. Woo! Let's go! 24 seconds! And I even ran into an obstacle. Let's go. Which means I could have done even better. Hell yeah! Nobody handled it like that, baby. I guess Gadon knew what he was doing when he picked you to ride for us. The only thing to do is wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize. Hell yeah. I present to you the winner of this year's swoop race. Hell yeah, boy. That's me. I'm the winner, homie. Through your skill and courage, you have proven yourself the premier swoop rider on Terrace. And brought great glory to the Hidden Bet Gang. Now to present the champion's prize, Brezik, leader of the Black Bull Cars. We haven't met this guy yet. Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated. I know not what you speak of, sir. You're a damn liar. You better not be trying to cheat me, bitch. You're a damn liar, boy. Your swoop button is using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You're a dick, sir. You can't do this, Brezik. You know the rules. Nobody's allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all our sacred traditions. Fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezik. Damn. Okay. Okay. Possible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of the Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Finally get to meet Focus this lady. To me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! Good luck, motherfucker! Alright, let's fuck him up, yo. Get fucked, homie. You want some critical strikes? Because you're about to get them. Anyway, I got some experience points for winning and a journal entry, but we're going to whoop some ass right now. Let's get them. We got Jedi homies. We got my homies. Wait, are my homies even here? My homies are not here. My health is not very full right now either, which I got to be careful of. Heal yourself, boy. That's all right. Brezik's weak sauce. Fuck him up. 
Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Bastila. We got to win. Is that it? Are we good? I'm guessing I got to talk to her. Can I loot these fools? Let me loot these fools. I'll talk to my girl in a second. I got a grenade, some credits. Hell yeah. Got some credits and a grenade. Hell yeah. Or two grenades. Let me steal his shit. What do you got on you, bro? Double-bladed lightsaber. Now you're talking my language, y'all. We're gonna get a fucking lightsaber off this fool. We got his belt. We got his armband. And we got his gloves. I'll take it all. I'm taking it all, baby. I'm taking it all. All right, well... GG on that. Go team. Maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Beasy, please. I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop games? I came for you, baby. <laughs> My name's Funky G. I came here to save you. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved Bitch, you. please! I could have got out of that myself. I left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. I could have handled that myself. <laughs> I think you got things confused, but that's fine. <laughs> I didn't need your help. I can handle myself. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to go with that one. Yes, I suppose you can. Well, I appreciate your attempt to save me, even if it didn't really go as you planned. But let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Underspire? Nope. We got Karth. Karth Anasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Apparently. I to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. I already got a plan rolling, baby, but sure. Let's, pre let's pretend this was your idea. Is this another one of our dream sequences or something? Hope you enjoy the video in the top corner of the screen. You cannot win, Revan. Revan thinks differently, apparently. Okay. Interesting. Bastila, you're alive. Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? We're trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Seriously, though, what a dick of a Jedi. Of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. She's kind of a bitch. Might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Damn. <laughs> both of you settle down. He's right. You aren't showing much leadership, Karth. I'm just going to go with you. Both of you need to shut the fuck up. Yes. You're right. Of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. But we all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Well, okay then. Ain't gonna happen, baby. Won't let it happen. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something troubling me? Oh, we're going to talk about that vision I just had. Okay. A vision? A vision of what? You fighting Revan, I guess. This is 
Strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. Are you saying I can use the force, yo? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Well, okay then. Also, Morrow's here. Yay! She got to work and lurk, but thanks for lurking, baby. Appreciate it. And Dragon, you sent me a link to fix the... I'm assuming you mean to fix the uh, the little cutscene thing where it goes up into the top corner. Yeah, I had a lot of issues like ca getting this game's window capture and lined up and shit. I'll have to look into it later. I'm not going to fuck with it today during this session because I did that enough in the first session of this. But I'll take your, uh, you know, your thing into consideration and I will look at it later. Anyway, so does that mean I can be a Jedi? Because that'd be pretty dope, yo. This is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape, yo, I get to talk to Samuel Jackson the council, if you and the little green guy. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. All right. That's the goal. Get the F out of here. I wonder if she's a party member. That would be pretty freaking sweet. Alright, so I don't I don't have a level up or anything yet. I wonder how close I am to a level up. Where's the level up thing? Here you go. 24 out of 28 needed. Got it. Um, I did pick up some stuff. I don't know if it's better than what I have equipped right now. Like I got that two-handed fucking missions vibro blade. Does she have that equipped? I'm assuming she must have that equipped on, right? Oh wait, no, hold up. Hold up. So this one is, the, this is my weaker sword. The, the, right? Sorry. This is my prototype vibroblade. This is my long sword. Yeah, her vibroblade's actually better. I don't know why she doesn't have it equipped. That's cool. I don't think... Hmm. Shiny armor is 18 base, base, I guess. That's 18 base defense. 16, 17. Yeah, okay. I thought I picked up some other stuff, but maybe, maybe I... Oh, yeah, I got his gloves. Let's equip those shits. Hell yeah. Equip those gloves, baby. Hell yeah. I also got a response package. What the fuck does that do? Oh. Oh, this is an implant. We ha we don't have an implant thing upgraded yet. But once I do, hell yeah. I did get Brezik's belt. So this one gives me plus two reflex. This one gives me resist resistance versus bludgeoning. Okay. This is plus two fortitude. Well, reflex. I'm gonna stick with reflex. I think that's that's fine for my setup. I think. Uh, anything else? Anything else? <laughs> I got his armband, which we can over equip over one of these energy shields. I imagine, because this is uh oh they have a limited amount of uses too. Okay. Well then, what does armband do? This is resistance versus slashing. Also, Sith energy shield. Oh shit. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that on one arm. And we're going to put the, the arm bed on the other one. Fuck yeah. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm happy with that. Let's go. I'm, I'm good. I'm good, player. I'm good. Alright, workbench. Uh, I'm good on workbench, probably. Well, actually, let me see if I... Oh, the lightsaber's here, yo. I could probably equip this, if I had to guess. I'm going to go... I'm, and until I do, I'm not going to worry about it right now. But I got Missions Vibroblade. Let's see if we can upgrade that. Hell yeah, boy. Hell yeah, boy. Assemble! My armor. Anything I can upgrade? I think I already have that as upgraded as I can make it. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's already as upgraded as it's going to be for now. Alright, cool. My sword's a little bit better. I'm good. Let's, uh... I don't know. Look at my journal real quick before we get back to it, I suppose. So... I still gotta figure out the whole droid. Once I figure out the whole buyer thing for the droid, I haven't done that yet. <sighs> okay, Bacilla says, but Bacilla's reluctant. Okay, so she's just talking about the vision I had. 
Now we just have to get the hell out of here. This is like our main mission, get the hell off the planet. Inter planetary information. I don't know if this is helpful either. The duel ring. Right, we still have to see if we can go finish winning the duels. I might go try that right now. Karth, we're still talking to. Matrix bounty. Oh, we gotta go talk to uh, Zax. We never found that guy. We never did find Zax. Okay. She is a party member. Yo. Okay. I'm gonna bring her. Because why wouldn't I want to bring her? I'm gonna bring her. And I'm gonna bring... You know, just to mix it up, let's bring Karth back. We haven't finished doing his conversations anyways. Let's just have this be our party member. Wait. There we go. Let's just have this be our party for now. And then we'll uh, maybe we'll switch it back to the other homies later. It's just nice to have two party members, you know? Oh, you're the writer who won the Great Soup Race. Yes, that's me. That's me. I have a message from Candorous Ordo. He says to meet him in the cantina. Who the fuck is Candorous? Isn't he that Mandalorian that works for Davik? That's the one. Given his connections, you can see what he would... Uh, be wise to attend this meeting. Candorous didn't say why he wanted to meet you. He only said that he would offer he couldn't refuse. Give his connection to be foolish to ignore. Alright, I'll meet him. Mandalorians are known for everything, so patience is not one of them. Alright. Well, if he's going to be a dick about it, <clears throat> maybe I don't want to talk to him. I'll find him. Alright, so we want to talk to the, the Mandalorian guy. Got it. Alright. First things first, though, I kind of want to go to the underground. <clears throat> And find the Zax dude and try to get my reward for that. Because if I get too far into the game, we may not be able to do that anymore. So, like that quest might get be missable. And I would like to get my credit reward for that dude being dead. Or quote unquote dead, right? He's not actually dead. He, uh, he might have dipped out of town after we blew up his apartment. Which is hilarious. And I'm also not sure if they're talking about the underground cantina or the main cantina up here. But we're going to go to the underground anyways, so... Away we go, y'all. Back to the Star Wars KOTOR stuff. Also, what do you want? to capture a famous Jedi like you. Were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? No, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the End of Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but... I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that part. The Vulcans came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait, let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? Of all the Jedi in the galaxy... Maybe he's losing side effects. Leave her alone. Why do we get the one who's absent-minded? I don't know. Do we want to be a dick about it? I would say the middle one. Maybe losing its part of her metal metal no laughing matter. <laughs> During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Karth. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Don't tell them that you lost your lightsaber. Anyway, we have some level-ups to do real quick, so hold up. I was thinking I was going to give her um, her lightsaber, or a lightsaber. I have one, and I'm not going to use it right now, so I might as well give it to her. But uh, yeah, there you go. And then auto level her up. Now she's level, damn, three to six. Nice. I was wondering if she was going to catch up in level there. All right, cool. Let's also give her a lightsaber. She doesn't even have a weapon right now. What the heck? Better give her that lightsaber, boy. Wait, what? Where's the lightsaber at? Hello? Can she not have it? What? Can I not give it to her? That's so weird. She doesn't even have a weapon right now. Why does she not have a weapon? the hell anyway she can have the cardio regulator that's fine oh what the hell she just can't put it in that hand she has to put it in the other hand that's so weird no left-handed weaponing for you all right here you go here's the lightsaber you're welcome anyway you can have an energy shield i don't care have some energy shields can i put an implant on her i cannot 
Uh, plus two awareness or plus three will. I'm gonna give her this one. And she has no items. No, 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 no gloves. Let me, let me. Uh, ooh, look at her looking all badass with that level lightsaber now. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah, boy. What can I do? I'm here. What? What? I'm gonna equip you too, boy. Not done. You can use the Breshik's belt, cause why not? And then you can have an energy shield or two as well, cause why not? And you can use this other headband, cause why not? Can you have a thing? You can't have one yet either. That's fine. I should take out the abilities that Bastilla has. I could. She probably has some force power shit. What can I do? I don't know if it really matters because I'm probably gonna let her just do her own thing all the time. But I might as well take a look. She has computer use. Or wait. Is this what she has? This is her skills. This is the force power she has right here. There you go. She's got force aura, burst of speed, force valor, which is, okay. Basically increases strength. This is granted plus two defense. She's got universal, or er, effect mind, which, oh, extra options appear in conversations. Nice. Light side power stun, okay. Stun droid, okay. Force push, sounds dope. And throw lightsaber, hell yeah. I guess I can look at his shit too. I never really looked at his shit, but again, it doesn't really matter because I haven't really been, like... Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be controlling myself for 99% of this game other than when I need to like use an ability to get through a situation you know hacking whatever all that good stuff but anyway she's got a lightsaber now so she can shut the fuck up about that I don't know if it was her lightsaber but she has a lightsaber so you know it would make sense that it's hers though because we got it from Brezik did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians that was nearly five years ago I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Or would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. What did you see exactly? There was something out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on the post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking on board. I, I think we're done. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Yeah, back to the task at hand, bitches. You know what I just thought about? I'm gonna do... One thing before I go down to the underground. I'm going to go to the other cantina over here. Now, I don't know if the other cantina is the one I have to go talk to the to the Mandalorian guy. I don't know if I have to go to the underground cantina or the one up here. But I'm going to go to the one up here for one reason alone. And that's to do the arena thing and see if I'm strong enough to do the next round. If I still get my ass handed to me, I'll, uh, I'll come back to this the arena thing in a bit. Because the arena is up here, right? I'm pretty sure it's in this one. Let's go check it out. I still can't believe I went to this canteen and never tried to go in the door. That was so silly of me. That was so silly. Alright. I'm mostly just here to... I don't know. Should I be talking to any of these fools? Like, that guy... This guy This guy won't talk to me until I win in the arena all the battles. These other guys just want to play the card game, which I don't 
the card game's okay. I don't hate it. Oh, no, the, the Ordo guy is here. Well, I guess we'll talk to him while we're here. I saw you in the swoop race. Okay, well, I guess we'll talk to him now. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, who the fuck are you, homie? My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Dada Kang in the exchange. Duke Nukem. The hours aren't great. Isn't that what I called him? me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. Sounds like a plan, but how do you plan to do that? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Oh yeah? Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend. Aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Oh yeah? What's this for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. And how are you going to manage that? Uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Uh, 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 and how am I supposed to get in there? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Son of a Robert bitch. Was having one custom built by That's Mark. what the droid's about. Just tell her candor essentially, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Okay, so that's how we get the droid. Yeah, won't, I, won't he get mad if I take his droid? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I see. Fine, you got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. All right. That's the plan, then. Let's go get that droid in a minute. Anyway, you sent me some hotel ideas with some jet tubs tomorrow? Oh, shit. I'll have to take a look at that later. For sure, for sure. But I definitely need to get that thing going. All right, anyway, this is where we do the duels, right? Okay, let's try to do the next round of duels. Actually, let's make our first save of the day. First new save. New slot, new day, new save. Let's do it. We're going to call this Day 2. I don't know. I'm I'm boring, I know, but whatever. Ajur. All right. All right, let's, let's, let's give it a rematch going here. Ladies and... We've already fought this this dude. Let's see if we can handle Marl. Come on, Marl! Bring it, Marl! I'm coming for you, Marl! Pia, Marl! Ooh! You fucked, Marl! My defense is a little better than it was last time. My attack is much better. I'm wrecking his tits now. Get fucked, Marl! Hell yeah. Over, the has Hell yeah. Get wrecked, Marl. I guess we're gonna find out. Wild Eyed Wonder about to get wrecked, told me. Anyway, that was uh pretty easy actually, surprisingly. Fucking Marl got wrecked, boy. Twitch, huh? You don't say. I'll take that, thank you. Now, if I remember correctly, I get healed between battles, so it doesn't matter. Fight like people like you. They be a, bet, they bet a lot when you fight. It makes me happy and rich. I always pay my debts. You won, so you get paid. Four hundred credits, baby. 
We might need those to buy the droids, so I'm glad I'm racking up some more extra credits here. Alright. We're getting quite the reputation. Everyone's excited. Which means more credits for me. Prove yourself to the best duelist on Taurus? Bring it. You've beaten almost everyone. I think you're ready to fight Twitch. Twitch might be crazy, but he's the best in the game. If you can beat him, you'll be the new champion. Alright, once I'm the champ, I'll probably be able to fight that other guy, too. So, Let's be the champ, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store. Hell yeah, for you. dude. Let's fuck him up. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild. He's unpredictable. He's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. Twitch.com. Twitch.tv. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taras Dueling Champion, the mysterious Stranger. Stranger. All right, well, let's do this. Me versus you, boy. Does he have a gun or is he going to come at me? He's got guns. All right. Noted. Ooh, damn. My damage on him was crazy good, though. Did you see that shit? I fucked his shit up, and he switched to weapons. He switched to close range. I am fucking him up, though. Look at his, look at his shit. You're fucked, boy. You're fucked, boy. Yeah, we wrecked his shit. No chance. No chance. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm the champion, my friend. And I'll keep on fighting till the end. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Twitch got fucked up. Give me that. Congratulations, you're the new dual champion. Twitch had a good run, but you took him down. Here's the purse for beating Twitch. Bad news is I don't have anyone left for you to fight you, so you're too good for your own good. Nobody wants to get in the ring with you. The only one left to the fight is Bendak Starkiller. He's been tired. Too bad. People would pay a fortune to see you fight Bendak. Well, I'm going to go talk to him and see if we can make that happen, boy. Don't mind if I do. Can I get another first aid after that? No. That must recharge after time or something. All right. Well, let's go back and talk to Ben Dak Starkiller and see if he'll throw down with me now. If I didn't wreck those two guys as hard as I did, I'd probably be like, nah, but let's go ahead and give this a try, huh? I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And Ooh. not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? I ain't scared of you. You're on. Name the time and place, motherfucker. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Wow. What a nice guy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save it before I try this because I don't wanna die. Get a game over. I'm probably gonna get one. I just wanna see how hard he actually is, you know what I mean? Like he might be super fucking hard. You know what I mean? So we're gonna find out. Uh, hopefully it heals me for this. You and Ben Deck are planning a death match. This is excellent news. People will bet a fortune on this fight. But why are you here now? A death match takes time to be ready. I have to bribe officials so they don't break it up. You might as well leave the cantina for now and come back later. Okay, so I can't do this right now, right now. I have to wait. Oh, and I'm sure he's super tough, Omega, but... I just wrecked the shit out of those other two dudes, like, super hard. Like, they didn't even have a chance. So, I'm hoping that's a good sign that I'm ready to just wreck shop. So, we'll see. We'll see. Right now, I'm trying to decide if there's anybody I should talk to. I don't even know. Alright, well, anyway. We're good. You died about 15 times fighting him? Damn. That is some wreckage. Hopefully, I don't have as bad a luck as that. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll have to come back for that, though, because right now, they're setting up for it. So, in that case, in the meantime, we will go do some other shit. I'm going to go try and get the droid. But first, we're going to talk to Bastilla, so let's do it. Hello. How can I help? 
Uh, you want to talk to me about them? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Before we rescued you, you mean? I managed to free myself, as I recall. God, this girl is in cocky fact, as fuck. If I hadn't been there, Brezik and his thugs might, might as well be Anakin Skywalker friend. female it version. Be more accurate to say that I rescued you. Can't you just admit you were rescued? I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that. That's right. Actually, you better thank us. The swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find me there. Yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Damn right, bitch. <laughs> I'm talented, homie. Yes, I can see you do not lack an ability. Although modesty is another matter. Bitch, you to join you're not any worse than me. I was expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Are you trying to say I can control the Force? The Force is in all of us. Though for most people, it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... What are you trying to say? I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. I'm okay with that as a plan. I'm okay with that. All right, Karth, quit, quit wigging out, Karth. We got places to be, man. I already got lost on which way I was going. All right, I just came out the canteen, and we're going this way. Freaking distracted me, Bastilla. I'm expecting we'll have another conversation with Karth before too long. He's like, he likes to interrupt me, too. But anyway, we're going to head over to the droid lady and see if we can purchase that shit. That'll be my next step. I know I still want to go down to the underground and get my reward for the other quest line, where we turn in the guy, the bounty one. But I'm going to work my way down there. So, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. One time. Two times, see, Karth does want to talk to me. I knew it. He always wants to talk to me in this fucking area where the ship is blaring in my ear. But let's talk to him. Yes, what's on your mind? I want to continue our discussion from before, fool. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it. Too bad. Don't you think it'd be feel better if you discussed it? Listen, sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. Do you have another problem now? Blast it if you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to. Isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? I'm frustrating. Look who's talking. What, me? What did I do? Oh, that's rich. Where have you been? <sighs> okay, I give up. Damn right, Ooh, bitch. Look, I suppose I could use someone to talk to. I'm just not used to it. And I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. I think of all the men who train us, the one that stands out about all of them is the one that I respect the most. So. Like Better Call Saul? That sounds familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. Uh, He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier. I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. And I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. You didn't think he'd betray the Republic? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. And even when things looked to be at the worst, I just I couldn't conceive of him. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I'm not going to stop it. I could have stopped it all. So you blame yourself? I blame Saul, not myself. I was, I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Uh... That's all of it? No, no, it's not. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Okay, we'll continue this later then. 
little bastard. But at least he opened up a little bit. So, I just want to call it out one more time because it's so obvious. But the voice acting in this game is top-notch, man. Really well done. And they did a good job programming it, too, so it doesn't feel awkward where the conversation feels like it like just stops in the middle of it and you're going back and forth all awkwardly. It actually flows well, too. So they did a really good job with the voice acting in this game. It's programmed really well, combined with the actual voice acting being good. But anyway, this lady, give me the droid. Bend X Star Killers coming out of retirement to fight to the death. Everybody's trying to get tickets. I've never understood why people always want to watch each other get killed. The droids don't think that way. Maybe that's why I like them better than people. Yeah. Let me get that droid, though. Why didn't you say so? Droid's ready. You can have it for 2,000 credits. I think I have the money, but maybe we can persuade to have less. Ooh. Give me for free or Tavik will close the shop down permanently. Nah, we're going to do this one. Damn. I tried. Hold on. What if I say I'll pass? I'll pass. Hold on. I wanted to try something. I'm here. Maybe I can do it with her. Uh, lame. I was trying to see if I could use her to do like some Jedi mind trick persuasion, but I don't know if it'll let me for this. Yeah, okay. So she won't. <gasps> it works! What? Well, I got lucky there. Alright, fine. We'll do it for 15 hundo. I'll take it. I'll take 15 hundo. It saves me some money. I'm pretty sure I have the money. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Pleasure doing business with you, baby. Real pleasure. Hell yeah. We got a droid, y'all. Wow, it's like officially joined my party, too. It's like a party member. Ha! That's awesome. Well, we got a droid, y'all. Uh... I guess I probably have to put it in my party. Well, Karth, it was real, but we're gonna have to take you out for now. Sorry, not sorry. We have to. We have to use the droid. He's needed. He's necessary. All right. So I used 1,500 credits for that, but we got the droid, y'all. So the quest with the droid has been figured out. Good shit. The droid's already ready to level as well. <laughs> I love his sound effects. Got those droid sounds, y'all. Anyway, let's auto-level him to level 6. Fuck yeah. Alright, what was I going to look at? I was going to look at something in here. I already forgot what it was. I assume the droid can... Uh, blaster pistol. 1 to 6? I got a better bit. I got a better pistol for you, bro. 1 to 8, 1 to 4. I'm going to go with the heavy blaster. You can have one of those. I got three of them, bro. They're yours. Can he dual wield? Can he dual wield? He can dual wield. Amazing. I'll have a couple heavy blasters, homie. Dual wield that shit. Fucking blast away. Hell yeah. I'm here. Alright, cool. We got a droid. We got a Jedi. And this one won't break down on you. Yes, that is nice. Very nice. Alright. So I'm going to head back down below real quick. And I wanted to do find that Zax guy. We had not even found him yet, so I don't even know where he's supposed to be. I feel like they said he was in the cantina or across from the cantina. I don't recall. But this is where I'm supposed to meet up with that one dude anyways. Let me see if I can find the guy. I don't really know if I if it's if it's in the cantina or not. I want to say it's, it is supposed to be in the cantina where the guy is supposed to be. Because this is the elevator or whatever that goes down to the lower section, right? I don't want to go down there. Like, I don't think he's in the apartments. I don't think. And this just leads to the, the underground underground. This is the elevator that goes down. Okay, yeah. So maybe I'm tripping. Maybe he's in the cantina. I just never met Zax, and I don't know why. I want to say it was probably in the cantina. I just must have completely overlooked him, wherever the hell he was at. Like, unless there's another room over here that I didn't go in. But I'm pretty sure this other path leads to other apartments or something, right? 
Like this one to the left over here. Yeah, that's just another section of apartments. Yeah, okay. Let's just go to the cantina and hope we find Zax there as well. I'm pretty sure he's there. He has to be. He just must have been across from somebody else and I just missed it. Alright. Got my droid. This is Uriah. What's up with you? <clears throat> People over the city are talking about glorious victory. I've never cared for Super Ace myself, but I guess I'll sell you... Oh, okay. This is the Pazak guard card selling guy. Let me see what he has, actually. Now that I have a deck. Now that I have a deck, it's probably worth it to see what he's got. So, I have 782 credits left after buying 1,500 worth. So, I had 22 something. 2282. How do I know if I have one of these already? Damn, a plus minus card would be amazing. Plus minus six. That feels like way too much. He's only got one of these, or two of these and one of these. You know what? I'll buy one of these, and I'll buy one of these. I know those are expensive, but I'm not sure what else I'm going to use my money on right now anyways. Does this guy play? Oh, right. Did I play this guy? I don't remember if I played him. I'll play him once. We'll play for 40 credits. Let's go. All right. In terms of cards, I have a lot more new cards now. So I'm going to take out... Maybe one of each of these. Throw in all these plus minus ones I have and hope for the best. Here we go. I have a bunch of the minus twos. Those are nice. But I'm going to keep one of each of the pluses. Let's try it. Yep. All right. Let's see how this goes. Wow. I got a plus or minus card, which is nice. All right. So what am I doing? I'm trying to get 20. 20. Exactly. Right. I tried to play him, but I didn't have a deck yet. Right, I remember that, Omega, don't worry. I was just saying, um, anyway, uh, end turn? I forget how to do this. End turn, right? Yeah. You say stand when you want to stay with what you got. All right, so I don't really want to use my cards yet. I might just roll with this to see if, uh, if I lose this first one, because right now, I, oh, I'm at 16. I'm at 16. For some reason, I thought I was at 19. I don't know why. 16. Let's just stand and see what happens. Damn, I shouldn't have held at 16. I should have played harder on that one. That's okay. I'm only playing for 40 credits. I'm not going to get fucking... It's got the same thing! Oh my god. Alright, we'll have to play this one. We'll have to play this one. Uh... I'll play my two. Do I play my one also? Nah. Let's just stand with that. Damn it! I'm so annoyed right now. He hasn't even used one of his cards yet. What a dick. I'm having bad luck. Alright. Yep. Ooh. I guess I'll play my plus one. I have to win this, so... That's the best. That's as good as we're gonna get, so... Without going over. Are you fucking kidding me? Well? Alright, I think you're cheating, bro. How dare you accuse me of cheating? It's not my fault you lost. I'm just a good player with a He actually didn't deck. even use any maybe of his you just cards. Need more practice. Or maybe you need to buy some better cards. Go talk to Uriah over there. Bitch. I'll play you one more time. I'll play him one more time. One more time. And if I get wrecked as hard as I just did. It smells, it smells fishy. Let's just say that. Damn, plus four, three, five, and one. That's terrible. All right, well, let's see how we go. 18. Damn, I don't have a plus two, which means I have to stand. That's so lame. <sighs> okay. Dragon's playing idling rule of gods, guys. It actually shows when my, my homie notifications pop up on Steam when I'm playing on I'm capturing my screen. That's funny. Fourteen, we stay. That's so cheap. That's so cheap. He 
He's gonna give me a 10 now, watch. No, 14. You can flip the plus one to be a minus or plus one, yes. That is a true statement. I know. I know how this works, man. Don't worry. I guess I'm playing... Man, I need six. Man, this is fucked up. I thought I could use two cards. What the hell? No? He's gonna... Why didn't I stand? I'm so bad at this interface. Well in last I still think he's fucking cheating. How dare you? Or maybe... I don't know if I can tell. I don't know if I can actually prove that he's cheating, but I feel like he's cheating. I don't know. I just had no cards match up at all to where I could get it. Although I did technically there, and then I fucked it up. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Yeah, I did come here to talk to you, bro. I haven't heard about anyone breaking into the military base yet, so I know you don't have those departure. Bitch. If you want me to help you, you've got to bring something to the table. So until you get those codes, we really don't have much to talk about. I didn't come here to talk to you, motherfucker. I came here to look for somebody else, but that's fine. I'll be back. Glad to hear it. I'll be waiting right here. That's fine with me, bitch. I didn't come here to talk to you yet anyways. I came here to find this Zax dude. Is this the guy that took my money? Hey, baby. Back again, I see. I guess the old Holden charm is still working. The ladies just can't leave me alone. Keep your hormones in check, motherfucker. I don't like the tone of your voice. I work for David Kang. I'm used to people treating me with respect. I don't give a fuck. You work for Davik? I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me. I feel like I've heard this shit already. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I. Yeah, okay. You're pretty open about what you do. I think I've already talked about this. It's not like it's some. You think you can get me off of Taurus? Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire. I feel like I've already. I think I've already had this conversation. It feels very much familiar. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm just gonna try and get out of here. If my homies will get the fuck out of the way. Oh my god. Yo, where this Zax fella at? Is he back here? Jagacha? I remember talking to that guy. Jagacha. Lower. Lower. I'm looking for Zax, bro. Bounty hunter, bounty hunter. Are you Zax? Oh, Zax is a fucking hut? Oops. I never went in here. Okay, I'm the one in charge here. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties. Are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents. I'm the hut with all the answers. You work for Davik? No, it's officially. I work for the bounty office, but Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him. Uh, okay. Is that even legal? I used to have to keep our relationship secret. Since the sift arrived, nobody gives a fuck. Got it. But enough talk, back to business. I've got a bounty, actually. That's what I'm here for. Which bounty? Uh, tell him Matrix is dead. Tell him about Selvin? Tell him Matrix dead. I've heard reports of the rather explosion. Some of the people saw you buying the perm permacrete detonator. If good Matrix is dead, but maybe you went overboard, human. Next time use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy. 300 credits, hell yeah. Can I actually get 400? Let's see. No! Alright, I'll take it. Sorry, I'll take it. Most are lazy. Alright. Another one I can collect on? Tell her about Selvin. Which one's Selvin? All the other bounty hunters who ended up... Oh, Selvin was that one chick I killed. The one that was like, you better get out of my room. Anyway, 300 more. Can I try to get more out of him? Yeah, 400. Let's go. All right. There's lots of bounties on Terrace. Need information. Wait. I have information, but it's not free. For a fee, I'll tell you anything you want to hear about the street gangs, Davik, or other stuff. But first, you have to come up with 100 credits. Uh, I, uh, I'm not going to pay you just for some questions. I can't afford that much. Then we don't have business. Maybe you can take some bounties and earn some money. 
Tell me about the bounties. You don't intend to work as a bounty hunter, do you? What need could you possibly have for so many credits? Two government contracts. One's Selvin. The other is Bendak Starkiller? Ooh, I'm gonna get money for killing Bendak. Okay, Davik has some contracts. One's for a girl named Dia. She has attacked Holden. Another's for a man named Largo who owes Davik money. And then there's Matrix. Okay, Matrix already gone. Okay. Okay. I think I'm good. <clears throat> okay. So, I've seen... <clears throat> I don't know if I've seen Largo. I don't remember Largo unless Largo was that guy we helped early on. But I, I've definitely seen that other chick, Dia. Yeah, Largo's not even on the list, so he must already got dealt with. I think it's the guy we helped like like escape early on. When he was getting attacked by those dudes. Anyway, Dia. Waitress of Dia, like man on her. Apparently she attacked him in the canteen and Holden retaliated by putting a price on her head. I'm gonna talk to her. I'm not gonna kill her necessarily, but I'm gonna talk to her. This guy we're gonna kill because we're gonna fight him in the dueling ring, so we have a bounty for him. Which means all I gotta do is win the last duel. Which I might go try to do right now. But where was Dia at? Was she at the other restaurant? She doesn't work here, right? I think I know I seen her, but I don't know where I seen her at, you know? I feel like I I know I seen I in fact I walked by her earlier. I just don't remember where the hell that was at. But anyway. Alright, so we gotta break into the the Sith base. That's like our next main objective. But I think before we do that, I'm gonna head back the way we came. So I think the Sith base is over here. I wanna say. I wanna say this is the Sith base. Yeah, okay. That's what we gotta break into. Just gonna I'm just mental noting it for later. It's bothering me that this part of the map wasn't uncovered, by the way. If you're wondering what I'm doing. Move the fuck out of my way, team. Y'all are just loitering in my way, like for real. The map is so stingy about being uncovered. The only downside of walking around with a droid is that he doesn't probably have any, you know, conversational stuff to have to progress us, like a quest story or something. Party member stuff. The evil walks among us. I want to say that Dia chick was just kind of walking around either in the other cantina or in one of the apartment areas. I don't remember where. Let's see, there's another apartment thing over here. I'm basically heading back toward the other cantina. I might go back to the apartment area that I started at. I feel like that's where I seen Dia at. It was either that or it was the other bar. The other cantina. I am going to go back to my main apartment area. Main reason being, I'm going to go heal real quick. Actually, let's do it that way. That's one thing you hate about KOTOR games, getting you party members that move out of your way. Yeah, I can see that. Party members like to just fucking loiter in front of you. Alright, there's the janitor. We're looking for Dia Dia. Pretty sure she's just one of those. You're not Dia, right? Nah, no, you're just one of those two licks. That's Quarren. Have we talked to Quarren? Hello, Quarren. Have I talked to you? No. Maybe his name's not Quarren. Maybe he just is a Quarren. That's what his race is. Ithorian. That's a Twi'lek. That's what they're called. Larum. 
Oh, you're a shop guy. Let's see what you got. You mentioned there's something about illegal aliens? Uh, okay. Aren't you worried about getting caught? Yeah, what do you got in stock? I'm curious because I don't remember what you sell sold before. He definitely sells a bunch of stuff. Nothing I think I feel like I need to buy right now, but I don't know. Computer parts and shit, or like the parts for like this kind of shit, is something I kind of want. But it's like they're expensive, man. Two hundred and twenty for one of them, like that's a lot. There's Dia. She is here. Okay, so I thought I saw her around here. You again? Why do you keep bothering me? I'm uh, I'm just looking for some something to steal. Stay out of my way, and you won't get hurt. Wow, if I just straight up kill her, that's fucked up. I don't think I should just straight up kill her. I feel like that's a bad one. I just want to ask you some questions. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Okay, Holden, who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands. I'm wondering himself. if we can work around this but and all not we got kill from her. His trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. You can trust me. Maybe I can help, baby. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Is there anything I can do to help you? I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Uh, maybe I could speak to him? Could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. All right, well, I'm going to try. I can't help you there. All right. Goodbye. I guess try to talk to Holden about it. I'm, remember, I'm trying to be a good guy, so I don't want to just straight up kill her for the money. We're trying to not kill people if we can help it. You know what I mean? So we avoid killing for no reason. I did kill that other freaking dude, or other bounty hunter bitch, but I think that one ended up being an okay one because she attacked me first. All I did was say hi, and then she got mad. She didn't like my, my cordial hellos as I bursted into her hiding place. But you know what? She wanted to throw down, so we threw down. I didn't know she I didn't know she had a bounty on her head. She started it. I didn't even come to collect the bounty. I came to hang out. Alright, well anyway. Let's head back over to the arena and see if they're ready to fight yet. Because I'm ready to throw down if they'll let me. And if not, well, I guess we'll go try and figure out how to break into the base. Because that's my only other thing we can do. Well, I'm going to try to talk to Holden, I guess. See if we can persuade him to not kill the girl. Or not want the girl dead. He's not trying to kill her himself. Let's see, the arena's over here, I believe. Alright, y'all. Are we ready to throw down or what? Let's see. You and Ben are playing deathmatch. Some are scared. Of Wait, that's wrong, I guess that's why they're illegal now. Maybe it's just wrong to take a life for credits. What? What are you talking about? No, no, no. I was just making it up there. It doesn't mean anything. Bendak is an evil, evil man. Killing him would be a good thing. Sounds like you're trying to rationalize this. I need to think this over. Alright. I am gonna I am gonna do this fight. Let me just save it, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna make sure I fight. I save before I have to do this fight. Don't you worry about that, Omega. I'm, way, I'm already ahead of you, sir. I want to make sure we save. For show, for show. I just wanted to make sure it was ready to go. Let's get on with this match. Alright. We'll turn off the energy suppressor so weapons won't be limited. They can kill. Anything goes. You ready for the fight? Let's go. High wagering means lots of credits. Alright. If you're still alive, he says. Oh, I plan on it, bitch. I plan on it. Come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by. To a time when two and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. 
They've been outlawed for nearly 10 years. But we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match. In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponents shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bandit Star Killer. And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Me. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. That's me. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin. Hell yeah. Dark side points gained. Wait, really? I get dark side points for doing this, man. Whatever. I just wanted to kill this guy because, you know, it's fun. Look at him throwing shit at me. What a dick. You want to fucking throw down, boy? Damn. Boy hits hard. Well, goddamn. Damn. He kind of kicked my ass. He kind of kicked my ass. Like, seriously. That wasn't even close. I barely did any damage. Honestly, I might not end up doing this if it's going to give me dark side points, to be fair. I'm going to try it one more time. And if he still kicks my ass as hard as he just did, I may just avoid this one altogether. <laughs> I'll try it one more time, just to see how it goes. And it's fine. I don't have to win this. If it gives me dark side points, I'm less inclined to care. Let me skip this shit, man. I'm ready to fight, man. I'm ready to throw hands with this fool. Let's get him. We gotta hit in. And he's hitting us way too hard. Yeah. He hits too hard, man. He hits too hard. And that's fine. I had a feeling he would be tough. I had a feeling. And that is all good. I am not even mad at it. I'm not even mad at it. Not strong enough to beat him right now. Nor do I care, really. I mainly just wanted to see how difficult he was going to be. That was my main, you know, question I had. So, it's cool. Not even mad at it. Alright. And that, on that note, then, let's get the fuck out of here. And, uh... I guess let's go break into the base, or do I want to go talk to that Holden dude first? I might go try to talk to Holden real quick. Well, I'm going to have to go back down there anyways. To Yeah, let's just try to break into the base. I'm, I'm about ready for that, I think. 